name is Kirsten here with Music Skins and I'm here with the founder of Warp Tour, Kevin Lyman. Hey, how are you doing? Good. good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's a little cooler today. Feel the weather changing. Just put some smiles on our faces. Yeah. Did you put your sunscreen on every morning? I did. I put my okay. sunscreen on every morning. Good. All right. So this is Warp Tour's 17th year running. How um, did you come up with the tour and how did you get started with it? Well, mostly I was doing, I'd been working around the music business for 13 years before I started the tour. And I was going to go out for one last summer with some skateboarder friends and a few bands like Sublime, no doubt, and do one last tour before I maybe got a real job somewhere. And I still, it's become my real job. <laughs> Warp Tour, Mayhem, Throwdown, all the tours I produce, it's, it's, I think I've made a career of it now. You really have. Uh, Warp Tour is probably the best known tour around today, and it's constantly changing and evolving over the years, adding more and more features to it, so it's more like a festival than just music. You guys have uh, Keeper Breasts, Girl Girls Garage, and all the charities out here. How has that been really important to the continuation of Warp Tour? Well, I think it's inspiring the fans that, you know, I think music is the driving force behind everything. But if 10% of the people can walk out of here learning something, doing something, or now, you know, just dropping cans off on the way in. The canned food drives have been amazing. I mean, anywhere from 1,000 to 4,000 cans of food and a couple thousand dollars a day go to the local food banks. It's kind of showing the youth that you could do it one can at a time. Or, the, you know, you could do these things. And while we have the, the attention of a couple million people and 600, 500 to 600,000 will come out and see the show. Why not, you know, maybe 10% of those? If you just take 10% of those, get involved in something else, that's 50 to 60,000 people that might, you might have been able to impact to do something a little better for their own areas or, you hate to use the word mankind, but at least the warped people. So, Warp Tour 2011 is about halfway over now. Got any plans for 2012 yet? Starting to starting to lay out the routing so we don't have as many long drives hopefully uh yeah starting to line it, line it up right now so you also are a big supporter of up-and-coming bands you're constantly looking for new people what's that like for you it's good i mean i bought three cds today out in line from kids um starting to collect those see the hard-working kids out there and then listen to the music and see if the songs can back up the hard work because you can if you don't have good songs you can run up and down a line forever but you're not going to make a difference but i just you know I just rented Nate from Sing It Loud out there, and you know, he's pushing his own product this summer, and he's driving around selling CDs in line, and uh, I bought one for my daughter, and he signed it because she helped pick them to be on the Warp Tour oh. a few years back. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you for speaking with us today. Right. It's been an honor. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for being part of the tour.